So, 2D point groups just like in 3D we had we had shown, but the, that proof was for 3D, but it can be easily extended to 2D and you can show that in 2D also you will have only these 5 rotation possible. The proof is again through matrix you can give or through a drawing of 2D lattice, we had given both the proofs for 3D, you can do that proof. So, the only rotation axis possible. All you have to do is to write a rotation matrix in 2D, a rotation matrix in 2D will be cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta in an orthogonal coordinate system. In an orthogonal coordinate system, if you rotate by theta, the first column will be the components of rotated E 1, E 1 is a unit vector along x axis. If you rotate it, you get R E 1 at an angle theta, since it is a unit vector its components will be cos theta and sin theta. Similarly, E 2 is rotated into R E 2, again since it is a unit vector its component will be minus sin theta and cos theta. So, that is your rotation matrix. So, again that say all the same philosophy only thing is that there you got the trace as 2 cos theta plus 1 because there was one more column 0 0 1 here the trace will be simply 2 cos theta. Now, this was in ortho orthogonal system, if you do it in a lattice basis, primitive lattice basis, all those arguments which we gave for 3D is exactly we are repeating. In a primitive basis, all components of a matrix will be integer. So, we are using two different bases. In orthonormal basis, because this matrix which we wrote was the orthonormal basis. So, the first point was this in orthonormal basis. The second point is that in a primitive basis, but the third point is that trace does not we, have, we proved that in 3D that proof is applicable to 2D also that trace does not depend on basis. When you change the basis matrix numbers will change, but when you add the diagonal terms you will get the same number. So, in the primitive basis also is there is the same trace, but in the primitive basis the matrix is integer components of the matrix are integer. So, the trace is an integer, sum of integers will be integer, so trace is integer. So, 2 cos theta is an integer, you solve for this again you will get the same values. So, 2 cos theta is an integer, so cos theta is m by 2. So, m by 2 has to be between minus 1 and plus 1. So, m is between minus 2 and plus 2. Okay. So, if you take m is equal to minus 2, we start with the lowest value then the corresponding cos theta which is m by 2 is minus 1. So, theta becomes 180 degree. So, it is a two fold rotation axis minus 1 becomes a three fold rotation axis. So, 
So, these are the only possible rotation axis just like in 3D, 2D also has the same limitation. These are all type 1. What is the type 2 operation in 2D? Reflection. So, we have 5, we have 6 point groups now in 2D 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, and then we have M as another point group. So, 6 point groups we have found. There are other point groups which can be obtained by combining, and we have met some of them combining M with these rotation axes. In fact, M itself can be considered as combination of 1 and M, but what will be combination of 2 and M? We are saying mirror passing through the axis that is not required for a space group. We have already seen in our combination that we let the let the mirror and the two fold axis be separated, but then this generated a glide line and it generated a space group we want to generate currently a point group, our focus is on point group. So, we want one point to be left fixed. If we want one point to be left fixed, the mirror and the rotation axis should pass through the same point, otherwise no point will be left fixed. So, you have already combined 2 and m many times by now, I think you are familiar with this case. So, if you have a 2 and you have a m, what do you get? Start with a point neither on the mirror nor on the two fold. So, that is a general point. So, I reflect in the vertical mirror. So, I get the reflected motif, but then I have a two fold also. So, two fold will bring it here without change of handedness. 2 fold will bring it here without change in handedness, but now these two motif we see are automatically related by a reflection in the horizontal plane is created. Here we are seeing geometrically if geometry is looking little fishy to you or not so convincing you can do by matrix multiplication. You can write the matrix for two fold rotation and write the matrix for a vertical mirror, you will find that out comes a horizontal mirror. So, let us do that way also. So, what, what will be the matrix for let us call the vertical mirror m y mirror along y axis or actually it should be called m x by international convention, because mirrors are denoted in the international table mirrors are denoted not by the line or plane along which uh, they are there, but by the normal to the plane. So, the vertical mirrors normal is x axis. So, let me call that m x. So, this is my m x, this is my m y what will be the matrix for two fold? It will change the x axis to minus x axis and y axis to minus y axis. So, that is the two fold. What about the m x mirror, the vertical mirror? No, it will reflect reflect 1 to minus 1, so minus 1 0, it will not do anything to 0 1, because 0 1 is along the mirror, so it will remain. Write the product, what do you get? Now, the question is what is this? What is the product? You can see from the behavior itself that it is leaving. First of all, 2 is which type? Type 1. M is what type? 
type 2. Now, one changes the handedness, one does not change the handedness. So, the combination will change the handedness. So, the product of type 1 and type 2 will always be type 2. Product of type 1 and type 1 will remain type 1. Product of type 2 and type 2 will be type 1 because change in handedness followed by another change in handedness. So, you will get the original handedness. So, this is a type 2 operation. Only type 2 operation in 2D we said was a reflection. So, it has to be a reflection. Now, looking at the structure of this, we can quickly see that it is a reflection which is not changing the x axis because 1 0 is remaining 1 0, but it is changing the y axis vector 0 1 to 0 bar 1. So, this is m y. So, depending on your taste either you li like the algebra, algebra is obviously a little bit more convincing because drawing although I drew you, you again require a little bit more proofs because you, you have to make some triangles show their congruence because you have to show that to uh, prove that this is a reflection of this you have to show that this distance is equal to this distance and things like that. So, geometrically I was being lazy and I was not giving the, you the full proof only on some sort of faith we were saying that it will appear to be reflected. But now algebraically you are more convinced that this product is a reflection. So, we have a group. So, we have a two dimensional group in which there are three operations. So, in fact four operations because identity is always an operation. So, my group consists of identity uh, x mirror a y mirror sorry I am giving subscript to twofold x mirror a y mirror and a twofold four operations are there it forms a group and this group is what we are we give a name and that is m m 2. So, x mirror and y mirror both we denote as in the symbol as m and m and a two fold. Why we denote both as a mirror? See this 90 degree mirror although we have proved it geometrically and algebraically 90 degree mirror is not what was expected from a two fold because if you say that I am combining a mirror with a two fold, what will the two fold do to the mirror? Will rotate by 180 degree. So, the mirror plane will come into itself, it will not rotate a mirror, a two fold axis is not supposed to rotate the mirror by 90 degree. But the effect is that if you combine a two fold with a mirror, the mirror does go to get rotated by 90 degree and a new mirror generates. So, that generation of the new mirror or a mirror which is not uh, which is not equivalent to the original mirror by a two fold symmetry 90 degree is not a two fold symmetry. So, this new mirror is considered to be a distinct mirror although it is coming from two fold it is a product of two fold, but still it is not equivalent by the two fold symmetry, it is not symmetry equivalent to the two fold axis. So, you put both the mirrors in the symbol and call the point group M M 2 okay. or sometimes it is also called 2 M M. 